Hello guys, Neo Earnings reveal surprises record revenues, rising costs, and a roadmap to potential profits. Let's dive in. Earnings season is right around the corner, and the big question is whether Neo might surprise us with a profit. Recently, Neo CEO revealed that the company achieved a surprise profit of 100 million RMB in October, thanks to reduced incentives and a focus on improving margins. However, it's important to note that October falls under Q4, not Q3. With the earnings report due in just a few days, let's dive into what we can anticipate moving forward. To recap, in Q2, Neo reported a total revenue of $2.4 billion. For Q3, analysts are projecting an increase, estimating $2.7 billion in revenue. If we analyze deliveries, NEO delivered 57,373 vehicles in Q2 and 61,855 in Q3, a growth of 4,482 units or 7.8% quarter over quarter. Assuming revenue growth aligns with delivery growth, a 7.8% increase from $2.4 billion would equate to $2.587 billion. This falls slightly short of analysts' $2.7 billion forecast, indicating a potential revenue miss if deliveries are the sole driver. But revenue is only part of the picture. Expenses, particularly R&D and SG&A, play a critical role in assessing NEO financial performance. The CEO has stated that R&D spending will remain consistent typically ranging from $300 million to $700 million per quarter. It's unlikely to see dramatic fluctuations, so R&D costs in Q3 are expected to hover around $400 or $500 million. SG&A, or selling, general, and administrative expenses, is where things get more dynamic. In Q2, SG&A costs were $517 million. For Q3, this figure could rise significantly due to the aggressive expansion of the Envo brand. Between July and September, Neo ramped up Envo store deployments and hired numerous sales representatives to support this growth. The opening of many Envo stores in September and the production of Envo vehicles likely added substantial costs. These factors suggest SG and it could increase notably in Q3, potentially leading to higher than anticipated losses. While Q3 revenue will likely be a record high for the company, the extent of losses remains uncertain. The good news is that Q4 appears to hold strong potential. In October, Neo managed to turn a profit, and the CEO seems optimistic about maintaining this momentum in November and December. Factors such as reduced sales incentives, Envo healthy margins, and increased vehicle sales with better profitability could position NEO for a much improved Q4. That said, Q3 earnings might contain some surprises. A significant rise in SG&A and steady R&D spending could lead to higher losses than some expect. However, if NEO provides strong guidance for Q4 highlighting October's profitability, and projecting similar results for the remainder of the year, it could spark a positive reaction from investors. This would set the stage for an exciting Q4 earnings report in early 2024, potentially marking a turning point for NEO profitability. One potential downside would be if NEO fails to deliver clear guidance for Q4. Without positive forward-looking statements, the market may react negatively to higher Q3 expenses. Conversely, Highlighting October profit and expressing confidence in the coming months could significantly bolster investor sentiment. Looking ahead, Q4 earnings might prove transformative for NEO, possibly even delivering the first ever profitable quarter. While $2.7 billion in Q3 revenue is an ambitious target, the current trajectory suggests it's just slightly out of reach, potentially falling short by around $100 million. Nonetheless, the company appears to be edging closer to profitability, which is an encouraging sign for its long-term outlook. As always, it's crucial to keep expectations realistic. While there are promising developments, including onbo growth and improved margins, challenges like high SG and a costs and the lingering impact of sales incentives in Q3 remain. But overall, NEO seems to be moving in the right direction 
with blue skies ahead. The future looks bright, and with the right guidance, Q4 could be a defining moment for the company. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next.